This is going to be a quick review of uh, commercial hardware. Thank you for joining us today. I'm just going to walk up to the truck. We'll pop this truck open. We're going to look at a bunch of commercial hardware. Just want you to know who we are and what we can do. A um, little bit about our truck here. High tech uh, key cutting machines. We've got all the pinning equipment and tools to make sure we can do repairs on site. We have hundreds of different components within the truck to help with um, making sure that we can make a repair without running around and picking different things up. We can do it on site at the time we're on site. Um, I'm doing this on a, a iPhone. It's not going to be perfect. I don't have a script. We're going to do it as quick as we can so I don't waste any of your time or as little as possible anyway and uh, show you as much as possible. Make sure you talk to the uh, operator or the uh, technician when we're going to uh, make selections. I'm going to touch on a few things but very quickly. We do roll shutters and I can just show you that I'm going to use a remote control to open that up. Um, they come in different grades, residential, commercial. There's some color selections there that we've just shown. Uh, that's not always going to be like that. You're going to have white, silver, brown, whatever it is that you need. Um, we That is a residential unit. There are commercial ones. We can use them for inside um, restaurants, schools. Doors is a big part of our lives. This is a shot of the Consumer Choice Award where the winner is the Consumer's Choice Award for Business Excellence. Since 2002, I continue to try to make sure that we are awarded that uh, uh, award. And uh, doors, residential doors, uh, any type of door actually, any type of door and hardware, we do it. You can see that we do residential doors, doors and frames, screen doors. We're always trying to use the best in products. We custom make the doors and frames to the size that needs to be done for a particular entranceway. And uh, again, anything to do with doors, we do it. Walking into the shop here, just looking at a bit of a poster here, and you can see we do the automatic sliding doors, commercial doors, apartment doors, warehouse doors, and we do the panic bars and hardware to go with, digital entry systems, weather strip. We're going to talk about that all again a little bit more. And... Uh, Let's have a look quickly at, there's not a lot of choices commercial. That said, so you're not dealing with decorator colors, but we've got uh, the ball knobs and dead bolts and then typical lever handles. There's a little bit nicer one with a softer corner on it. There's a variety of functions, entrance, bathroom, um, storeroom, exit only, uh, dead bolts. Now there's some differences in dead bolts and we'll talk about that real quick. What we've got here is um, a cheaper commercial deadbolt. And you can see that the bolt is kind of crimped and adjustable. Uh, it's a little bit lightweight. We're going to go over to the B660, which is standard commercial bolt that would go into a building. And you can see it's not a crimped unit. It's, it's a solid tube. It's still not the best in the world, but this is standard commercial. Uh, I do have one better. This bolt here is a residential bolt. It's adjustable. You can see it's a drive-in. That's something we wouldn't use on commercial typically unless we couldn't avoid it for some reason. This unit is mortised in. It's cut in. It's going to be a lot more stable than having some drive-in bolt trying to hold in place. Um, these units that are in here now are B660s. And this is, commercial has a minimum grade quality, so it's grade two. You can go to grade one but it gets very expensive. The grade two is excellent and I use that. It's the top of the line that we use for grade two product here for commercial. We do have grade one. Um, they typically use those on legal offices, government offices, where they're using our money to, uh, to make purchases. Again, down in the deadbolt, <clears throat> the B660 has the ice pick collar, a spin collar, and a cylinder inside. This stops somebody from wrenching that door open in combination with the bolt very good security it's my go-to for commercial um a upgrade to that and there's going to be some noise here because we're working on a saturday the guys are coming in and out uh, customers this is called multi-lock this product 
is got a spin collar. This is grade one, best product in the world. It's got a solid tube here, hardened steel. It's got a bolt inside of the unit itself, or pardon me, a bearing, a bearing inside the, you know, let's see if I can make that, manipulate that with one hand because I'm shooting the video with the other one. There we go. So when it comes out, this bolt interlinks with the strike and this bolt, inter or ball bearing interlinks with the face plate there. Um, hardened steel, outside shield that spins as well. Um, pick resistant and drill resistant and high security key. What's a high security key? And it's not so much high security, it's a security key. So what happens here is you request that we uh, make a certain amount of keys for you. Those are the only keys that will be issued. And if you need additional keys, you'll have to request them. Your information is kept on file. The keys are stamped, they're logoed. Um, you're easy to take care of your, your keys that way. That's what we're looking for. A tenant, a um, staff member can't get keys made without your authority. If you give them the, the authority, they can, but it's uh, very well regulated. We keep the files in a fireproof safe. Um, the inside looks like a regular deadbolt and handle, but is very heavy duty, very strong. And the exterior, again, looks like a regular deadbolt but it's very strong. This is a grade one deadbolt. And where access control is important and management of people is important, that is key. We'll move on to uh, something else that we do is storefront locks. So you typically you're gonna see this on a um, apartment or a storefront door, uh, dead latches, paddle handles. This is actually a removable T-turn. So I can take that T-turn out of that uh, bolt on the inside of that lock and the inside of the store. This is kind of demoed, so, but that would normally be, be on the inside. So I, if somebody breaks the glass, they can't reach in and, and break in and take my, uh, open that up easily with that. we we'll just remove that. Now they break the glass and they can't get in. Uh, we'll move on <clears throat> to a number of other items here. I'm just going to skip past these digital entry systems quick and go right over to something that's relevant to what we're just talking about there. So again, paddle handles, uh, lever handle for commercial glass aluminum door, uh, dead latch, flip up bolt, uh, hook bolt, uh, push pull handles uh, for bathrooms and um, basically warehouse doors. We've got some uh, flip up uh, hold door hold opens. So that's a door hold open there and a little bit longer. So if you have a big step down, this is a vertical rod that goes into the stationary door of a double door. And then we've got a uh, commercial hinge which has a non-removable I'm going to see if you can get in there 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 we go non-removable pin in it so that means that if somebody manipulates that door from the outside they can't pop that pin out and get in there's a security collar that would go on a storefront door and a t-turn like I said the other one had that removable little key that you can put in there and pull it out this would be a standard t-turn this is what happens to a door that's been kicked in residentially it gets split and blown apart Steel doors don't typically do that. I'm gonna move back to the um, digital entry systems. I have this particular unit on my accounting office. It's a great little unit. Uh, makes it so that the girls can go in and out of there and lock the door without fear of leaving the keys in their purse, which has happened in the past. Push the digits to get in, give it a turn and it retracts the uh, latch and then next time it's locked up again. So you have to do that each and every time. But now if the girls leave their purse inside, we don't have to worry about them being locked out of that unit. Residential deadbolt, got this on my house. Commercially, we use it from time to time on offices as well. Uh, great unit, it's bulletproof, no batteries, no uh, wiring, no electrical on either one of these two, no plastic parts. So they're all mechanical, it's gonna stand up very strong locks, very much worth the uh, dollars and cents invested from a convenience standpoint. We have a unit here that can be convenient to use for uh, office doors again and or counting rooms. We do use them residentially uh, for house doors. It's got some plastic components in it, but it has um, some conveniences to it as well in that it has a key override. So we're going to just press the code, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. It should retract, there we go. And when we want to lock, we can just press the lock button. It'll lock up. 
And then we've got this key override. What sometimes this works for is a rental unit, a suite, a condo. If you're letting somebody maybe use the unit and they change this combination and you have to get in, you can still get in with a key. Maybe you want to leave it with housekeeping so that the, the uh, combination changes ongoing. But the maintenance, the cleaning person might have this key to get into all the units so that they can clean the office. Uh, but otherwise we're getting in with a code. Commercially, we're using this commercial unit can. This is the workhorse for us when we're out doing, um, oh, bus barns and we're doing mechanic shops and we're doing back entries for warehouses. We use this commercial unit, it's very strong. It can actually, uh, actually be attached to a panic bar as well and comes in a lever function as well. We can accommodate a key override. This is for a glass aluminum door. So yes, we can do your storefront door with a similar product. Uh, there's different versions of this, some with audit trail, some without. I'm gonna just keep moving on over here to a reinforcement product that we use, just like I said, for that door being broken and or the uh, door slab being broken, there's um, what we call a door saver or door wrap. And you can see from the picture here how that goes on. And then you can see below uh, we're repairing typically doors that have been broken apart in an office or, or, or a home uh, or a warehouse if they're wood or, or, or masonite and uh, <clears throat> putting that wrap on. We'd rather do that before they were broken so that we're not dealing with broken doors and letting people in. They come in different shapes and sizes and they do very much specifically uh, make them for a door that uh, has specific hole sizes and or distances and back sets. So it's something your technician can help you with. The Bolt Buddy normally is used in a residential application. I have used them in commercial application. This is a great unit, been using it for 20 years to reinforce doors residentially and commercially. And we're not talking about the deadbolt here or, or the door viewer. We're just talking about this bit of steel that reinforces the edge of that door and or the bit of steel that's reinforcing both sides of that frame. So if somebody kicks or attacks that door now, they're not gonna get in because uh, it's all been reinforced. In, reinforced, there we go. I'm not using that script like I said. I'm just trying to get through this quickly. Do we do cameras? Absolutely. The camera I'm showing you there is a decoy camera. Basically, it's a fake camera. We have real cameras, real monitoring systems that can be linked to your iPhones, your iPads, your computer systems. You can uh, communicate and you can have uh, sound on them so you can record. And what we, we find is not so much for Berkeley, but, but staff events. Did something happen that um, we can confirm with the camera? Did the customer say something? Did we misplace, misstep something? Did someone take something out of the build, building that shouldn't have come out? Did Frank take that thing home with him or was it Sam? Uh, sometimes we even just check around the building. Where did I leave something? And the, and the gals can check the cameras and find it for me. Um, window bars, all different sizes for residential and commercial, hinged and unhinged. I'm gonna show you some commercial bars here in just a minute. We're just gonna, well, that's for storefronts right there. We're gonna just touch on this um, residential and or office use uh, safe. So I'm gonna just press the start button. It's easy to use. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna calm this up to whatever you like. It goes beep, beep and opens up. We're in, that easy. Instead of the dial left, right, left, three times, two times, four times, whatever it is, we're in quick and easy. We can use this for documents. We can use it for cash. We can use it to store a variety of items that might be around the home or office. And then we're into the commercial safe, which has your typical dial. And you can see that that's going to be a little bit more work. We can put electronic access on that, so that's not a problem. And you can see the thickness of that door there. That's really heavy duty. So now we're talking significant B&E and fire resistance. We do have fire resistance on the smaller one as well, by the way. That's a great little fire safe. And the bigger one, you can see we just got a lot more space. It's a lot thicker. Uh, these units, that particular unit is one of my most popular units. And it weighs about 675 pounds. It, they both can be bolted down or glued down. We do deliver and install. So not a problem there. Key cabinets. Variety of key cabinets. Basic key cabinets. And we can get into the electronic computerized key cabinets as well. Not a problem. Just tell us what your needs are. We can fix you up. Depository safes. Um, those are safes that you would make a cash drop in or keys or envelopes or documents. We can leave them uh, inside an office in a hallway, mount them, 
that type of thing. Restaurants use them. Door closers. So door closers, while they all look the same, they're very much different. So there's different sizes, and you can see that there on the left. And then we're going up, and then we've got the dark one, and we've got a bigger one. Uh, and then there's probably 30 of each out on the market. Some of them don't work that well. A lot of them don't work that well, actually. And their cheapest bidder got the job. These, all the door closers that we sell have a winter hydraulic fluid in them. So minus 30, they're going to keep functioning. This particular panic bar is called a push bar. Uh, pardon me. Yeah, push bar. Nope. Yeah, push bar. Yeah, push bar. There we go. And it's old school panic bar, right? You've seen these in the schools when we were going to school. We'll see them in the odd building still. They stick out a lot. So when we're going through a back restaurant door, if that's sticking out, really hard to get a pallet through or in and out with uh, with boxes. So everything's converted over to this push pad. The push pad is a lot narrower, as you can see, uh, a lot stronger because you're not hanging off a bar. So it's a, it's the way to go today. Now there's different versions of both of those and, and the quality of which. We sell, when we're selling something here, we're always going to let you know where you're at. If you need a mid-range product, we're going to accommodate. But typically, we want to put something on that's going to last long term. Okay? Then we got weather stripping for around steel doors. It's kind of hard to demo that because hard to see it, really, and hard to figure it out on a video. But we do do commercial steel doors, residential doors. We've got the weather stripping here for the bottom sweep area on, on commercial doors. That's always wearing out and we're more than happy to put new ones on for you. Sill plates. Um, we of course have residential, a lot of residential hardware. We won't get into all of that right now. Uh, we've covered the uh, digital entry system. It's gonna walk out back here real quick and uh, just going through our shop. So our shop, we can get things done. Whether it's uh, 100 padlocks or 1,000 keys, building handles, deadbolts, master key systems. We're, we're getting it done. Our staff has the ability. Just get back here and walk into our warehouse where we're storing a little bit more inventory. But the important thing here is we do inventory some steel commercial doors. Now, a lot of them are custom made. This particular piece of hardware is what's called an expandable frame. So I can wrap that around a variety of situations to accommodate a, a number of different door situations. And then we've got all our weather strip. We have full length hinges that go top to bottom to replace uh, pivot hinges and or um, uh, the uh, mortised in hinges. Let's go to this back door and we're gonna demo a door closer quickly. Typical commercial warehouse door. Handle deadbolt. This de handle is not keyed up. This deadbolt is in fact multi-lock and uh, that's securing my building. I wouldn't do with anything less. Uh, we've got what's called an interlock on here. This is two pieces of steel. One's mounted, I don't know if you can see that on the edge there, it's an L. And the other piece is mounted onto the door slab itself. And you can see that profile, one wraps around the other to create a secure area where a guy can't get in with a crowbar. Also, I wanna show you this door closer now. So what we've got is a door closer that's going to function nicely. See how that just slowly closed and then the latch speed is really good. It's adjustable latch speed and adjustable door, door closer speed. But also if the wind catches it and whips it open, that's got what's called back check. So that door is not going to get ripped off by the wind because the door closer, I'm going to do that again, has a back check function. And I really whipped that open. Hopefully you see that on the video gonna walk around to the front while we're doing that I'll let you know we've actually got cameras on the outside of our building that monitor the parking lot and why well when we had a break-in if we have a break-in of some sort we want to be sure that we have some evidence of the vehicle that came or went or maybe the neighbor has an event and a lot of people are doing that you see it on TV now it wasn't maybe at the original home but the neighbor got the event so we're back at the front door we've got the interlock on here We've got uh, D handles, so this door closer, pardon me, the door handle on there, we do that. The glass aluminum doors themselves, we replace that. The glass in the door, we replace. Um, what else do we do? Just about everything to do with a door and closer. This is what's called an expandable gate on this front area. 
It's a window bar situation that uh, can be put to the side or moved out of the way. And then we have the permanent squared off window bars there as well that are mounted in place. Those are custom sized. Our turnaround time on that's very fast. So if you need something, just let us know. I'm gonna get back inside here again and show you though I have those on my side lights, the windows, this facade. I know uh, there's challenges with lighting. Um, we've got uh, cam locks uh, for trucks, for desks, uh, drawer locks, um, keys, but we'll get into that in a minute. All different types of um, wrist coils and washroom locks or washroom tags, uh, padlocks, just so many. It's unbelievable actually how many padlocks we have. One of the largest uh, inventories of padlocks in again, Western Canada. And then a variety of padlocks for every application. So for trucks, for uh, combination locks, um, heavy duty combination locks, safety locks for lockouts and for uh, C-CAN locks. There's the safety locks there, all different types of safety locks. I'm just gonna walk around and you can see again, Ask your technician about the different products that might secure or protect your business. Here we've got a digital entry system that can be mounted on a gate post around a back door and it basically lets someone in by a code so you can not be at the premises and you've seen them on real estate um, doors where they're putting them on the door handle but you cannot be there tell them the code and in they get at the cottage or at a building at a shed cables cables to tie down equipment um, lock down quads lock down important uh, generators welders we've got the um, locks that are going to lock down um, trailers we've got a, a small boot lock we've got these come key to life by the way and we've got chains that are going to help you chain up gates and chain up equipment and bike locks motorbike locks i'm just going to burn around here real quick there is one particular one I want to show you that I don't want to forget because you're in the commercial business. You're going to want to know about that boot lock. Uh, trailers and again uh, quads, we can lock those down and make sure that you're not going to get ripped off. A uh, multitude of different products that are going to help you out. We're going to walk around here. We have one of the largest key selections in uh, Western Canada, again, if not uh, Canada in its entirety. We have literally thousands of keys and hundreds of each one. We have key machines that are accurately cut uh, keys and reproduce keys for you. High tech units that are gonna code cut keys from a code that might be on your lock or from a vehicle. Computer programs that will allow for us to um, code up a vehicle key that has a chip in it. And intricate pinning kits that are gonna let us work on all the finer parts of the locks. Multi-lock pinning kits, again, uh, very intricate. A robotic key machine that cuts our high security keys. And uh, a, a very healthy supply of all the automotive keys, which are, are ever-changing. We even go back to the old days with the uh, skeleton keys, so we can make uh, keys to sewing boxes and or showcase locks or or well, little things that the old boys used to have around the house uh, that were a thing at one time uh, for dishes and pantries and that type of thing. So we'll wander out this way here and wander into the uh, dispatch area where you're gonna find a number of dispatch centers that are all uh, computer interlinked. So the calls are coming in and uh, everybody knows what's going on. They're put on screen in such a way that we're making appointments for you and not missing those appointments. We've got a job board again in paper that helps us keep track of your job as well. And your inventory, all our inventory is done on a computer system. So we know if we've used two locks to replace those locks, we're always in stock and ready to rock. This is a file cabinet that we keep our high security files in. There's a number of them that are built to um, withstand fire. So we've got, uh, know that protection for you and geez you know the amount of inventory we have for the common problems is astonishing so panic bars in stock and the different trim styles and all the different uh, deadbolts and deadbolt styles and colors and functions and uh, all the components that would repair that type of thing and or uh, locks for storefronts and door closers 
Uh, we are in stock, ready to rock. Lock Surgeon has got it all going on. Job bins that are organized and ready to get jobs out for you. So we're very rarely, and I'm not going to say it doesn't happen, but it doesn't happen often that we miss a job. And then we're going to get back here and we're going to put that roll shutter down. Again, it's a remote control. Excellent for putting on any type of window, warehouse, commercial, residential. And by a flick of a button, we're locking down. Oh, press the right button maybe, hey? There we go. And hopefully I put some light on the subject for you today about the commercial locks and applications we can meet your needs with. Um, the guys best can describe all the different options that are available just by inspecting the site. But now you've got the heads up that can help guide them in the direction that you might want to go. So thank you for joining Lock Surgeon for this video today. We really appreciate the opportunity.